I, I, there, there's the fear. There's the fear that she says I just won't talk to Tom. You do? There's a zero percent chance that happens if she just walked right by. He's acting like she's literally about to walk through the door. That's how I was like, oh, no, she fits up. Is she like gonna go up to her and stuff? Yeah. Hello. How are you? Pat! Oh my god! It's finally here. New York office. 25 million. I want 20 million. Or 20 million and one dollar on me. Hey, Chicago's office is here, but you can't forget about us. We gotta remind you, we have a nice uh, sec. Secretary. Right, don't forget about me. Like, y'all go to Chicago and y'all be acting brand new. This is yeah. where it started. Uh huh. Uh, y'all ain't gonna have it. Y'all ain't gonna have a front desk bitch gonna be talking like me. We have um. This is a lobby. I think these TVs are supposed to be on, but um. I turned them off. Yeah, I stopped turning them off. We gotta pay rent, bro. I turned them off. That is true. <laughs> we're we're cutting us. Uh, we're cutting back here at Barcelona and my seat so electricity. Uh, this is free to take for. Hey, hey dodgeball. <laughs> Now you're all in big trouble. I'm gonna show you the amenities now. This is the, the big new thing where they, they have this wallpaper as far as the sports, but it's already kind of, I don't know why. Yeah, we got junk on the floor. This is where the magic happens. Yeah, uh, Travi leaves all this food around here. Yeah, the internet barely works. The internet barely works. Actually, Kareem comes in here because this is the only spot. Uh, here, look, we have uh, some trash there. Yep, wonder where that came from. You know. <laughs> We just have Santa. That's... Oh, come here, come here. At the Chicago office, there's a golf simulator. Come here, we have our own video game station. Uh, right here, uh, we have to kind of roll up the screen, and only one controller works. Okay. We're lucky to get a couple games at the Wi Fi station. We had a remodeling, we couldn't come into the work for a week. And we got back and it was just couches. <laughs> couches. <laughs> we did have this NFL Blitz machine. Um, it did work at one point. I broken. It, it's yep. <laughs> Broken's the name of the game around here. Connect four. I would just play with the bo the buddies. The boys. Well, I think we're missing the bottom part, but this is from God knows when. You may be wondering why there's a ladder here. This is where you can get the best Wi-Fi. So after you have, when you upload a video, people come here. It's the closest Wi-Fi. I think uh, three of the boxes work these days. The place is falling apart. <laughs> this is supposed to be the twenty million dollars and one dollar. Twenty million and one dollar tour. Office tour. Yeah. Don't say it's falling apart. Uh, the, the Chicago has a Fiji water fountain with just Fiji water running. They bring in new water every single day from Fiji. We have a urinal that hasn't stopped flowing in 12 months. I don't know if that gets fixed at any point. And we're gonna go to the, the state-of-the-art studio. So this is my favorite part of the office. Um, studios. We um, have these mics that just uh, fall over. Yeah, they redid the studios. Uh, they redid them. I don't even, like, what, uh, what is this? It's just in North Carolina, Barston. This is unbelievable. We have our own uh, montage that fe features Mincy twice. <laughs> including his infamous moment. On the first of the month, one, one month. <laughs> Every studio is actually pretty cool. I'll say, I'll say. Makes sense though. Yeah. They're like, legit. This is a nice little spot. This was supposed to be, I think, put up at some point. But the Yaku is not in the city. We have these nice little recording sounds that do nothing. <laughs> and we have these that, <laughs> they're off too. So I have a parcel radio up top. Serious power or serious XM power 85. Hasn't been that way for three years. But yeah, thanks for coming along to my tour. It's beautiful here. The Wi Fi 
Uh, hopefully this gets up on time. The Wi-Fi rarely works here. Hey, if you're looking for it, there's a single cigarette in the uh, snack cabinet. Oh, hell yeah. Take a puff and put it back. There you go. Sharon. That's the New York difference. It's community. You have a golf simulator, we have a single cigarette. Who's coming in? <laughs> Alex Cooper. Who? Alex Cooper. Why? Here? Yeah. Oh, what's the reason? Tommy's Tommy's freaking out. Did she was coming in just to shoot smoke show? <laughs> to do the smoke show, yeah. I mean, I was talking to Dave about it because I was like, is there any chance that you can face, or I can FaceTime her for a video? And Dave said he's going over her live show next week. And he was like, I'll just put a camera in her face and make her talk to you or put his phone. But I mean, if she's going to be, she's going to be at one. Two old rivals, like Hamilton and Burr. Seeing each other down the hallway. Call, call her daddy, call him mommy, facing off. One battle royale. Winner take all. <laughs> Winner gets the 50 million from Spotify. Uh, Erica tells me, and I'm like, what is she here for? And Erica either doesn't know or is telling, you know, telling me she doesn't know. And I was like, do you think she would do some content? Like, would she have on radio? And Erica's like, I don't, I don't, I think so. And I was like, you do? There's a 0% chance that happens. I, I, there, there's the fear. There's the fear that she says, I just won't talk to Tommy. I'll like, do anything I think, else. I think she's big enough now that she doesn't walk alone. Like, she's got people with her, and they're gonna I, see I you and, like, spray you. I bet she's coming around on me. I bet the dust is settled. <laughs> the dust is just settled. That's just in your head. It's been long enough. Be it He's acting like she's literally about to walk through the door. That's how I was like, oh, you know, tits up. What's going on? But it's while we're on radio, so I, I sent a message that will undoubtedly not be opened. And we'll try to have her come on radio, and it 100% will not happen, but gotta take a shot, right? If she just walked right by. Like, then he just, just thinks he's just a custodian here or something. And just walks right through. Call her mommy. I mean, how could you forget call her mommy? All right, we have a loaded episode for you guys today. We're talking new sexual intercourse moves, some penis in some <laughs> vagina. We're going to tell you how to slide in a girl's DMs. We're going to talk to the Dilf Hunter, see what she's Dilf got Hunter, to say. Dilf Hunter, baby. And of course, we'll take some questions from you guys in the mommy gang. So let's get into it. Do you call her mommy? Do I call him mommy? Call him mommy. <laughs> Showtime, baby. Let's make some magic. It went from like, I'm joking around with like the quirky weird dude at Barstool because I'm making content there now to, oh, I never have to talk to people like him ever again. Point on radio where I was like, it was like right in the mix of this and me and Dave were talking about it. And Dave was like, Tommy, I love you, but like, if I could only save one of you, I, I would drown you. Like, I, I, and, <laughs> like it's not even And I was, like, well, I was like, you know what? I was like, let's check back in like 10 years. Let's see yeah, who's let's doing see. better. So far, Alex, a massive head start. Well, listen, from the front we're both the gone studio, on to big that. things. Let's, let's wait. Let me just be clear to the audience and everybody here. There's a 0% chance any of this is happening. There's a Doctor Strange in the Avengers, one in 14 million scenarios where you catch her walking out the door and you like bombard her I, with a video and you get her in. But here's the thing. That's it. You I, my life, yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, my life has been built on those one in 14 million right. scenarios. The universe, God smokes me. And so I think there's a chance for God, God's a smokes fan. I mean, if she, look, if she wants to break the internet, the offer is there today. Sure. Wow. Sure. She's, you know she's watching. Come on, Coop. You know, it's been a while. Let's bury the hatchet. Let's make some magic. Let's make a quick scene and, and let's go Vivi. Why is Tommy she freaking wants, She probably doesn't even know who Tommy is. No, Remember she they did the videos? Thank you. She probably doesn't know who any of us are. <laughs> Tommy, I hope he just died. Is he like going to go up to her and stuff? Yeah. yeah. Hello. Uh -oh. How are you? Pat! Oh my god! Grandma, uh, the mic right there. Oh, okay. And we're live. What are we? What is this? This is Barstool Radio. Radio. Oh, so we're hey, live on YouTube yeah, right now. So now and shit. So it's like your big dick energy yeah. now. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I knew you would make it. Thank you. Yeah, no, I know. We always said that the two of us would be one and two. One this and is crazy. It's like the same as I left. It's yeah, wild. Yeah, you you kind of went on to bigger and better things, and we're just no, 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 guys. Here. I'm never too good for Barstool. I don't forget where I came from. 
I remember. I remember. She saw Kirby Smokes. She ran over and gave him a hug. It's pretty good. Go see him go. When I was here, I really had to work on like establishing my brand, and you right. couldn't be a part of that. Yeah, that's fair. But now that Wait, the brand we, is established, yeah. the way that Call Her Daddy did start to get some traction in this uh, like this office was because we were so like, no, we want to do our own thing. Yeah. You know? mm -hmm. And I think it worked branding wise. Was that was that on purpose though? Yeah. So oh, you, I kind of yeah. helped. I mean, it didn't, I don't think it would be on accident. Like, no, I knew what I was doing. Like, I think it was like sticking out like a sore thumb here was good for us. And I think mm -hmm. it like made us kind of more polarizing. And it, even well, if it was guys online hating us, I think it was good. So did what? you ever really dislike me or? No, Tommy, I didn't love your I was, outfit. I keep seeing you guys say, don't wear khakis. Yeah, fuck What's khakis. What's up with that? They're just, you like just not, can't. They're not, they're not flattering. They're not hot. Don't, don't wear khakis. Us. Okay. Yes. I would like to order you guys to, to dress him. I'll give you a budget. Can you we take him and oh my like God, dress yes. him? I never didn't like you, but I didn't think it was like appropriate for us to give you a makeover. Cause like it was your idea. It would have cheap, ah. cheapened the brand. It would have cheapened the brand. Yeah, and then oh. maybe things. Oh, no, have, no, 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 no I agree. Starts, it wouldn't have unfolded the way it did. Tommy yeah. alarmingly stupid smokes and made him something. It would be like Ew. the daddy gang can do anything. Yeah. yeah well, you know, I don't regret it though. Okay. Yeah. I mean, things have turned out all right for you. Are you doing pretty decent? Pretty good. I'm doing my thing. So I think it was a lot of like me just like trusting myself to like fucking get it done and it's cool to now see like everyone say like wow you you over you like promised and you over delivered which and is to cool. think none of it would have happened if you had done the thing I mean butterfly effect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Really cool. it could be yeah. me with the you know Spotify deal and you yeah. sitting on this couch from Barcelona radio are you I could have never hopped <laughs> 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 I'm just kidding I'm kidding many like the guys were like Alex this has more lighting cues than like the <laughs> yeah. shows we worked on. I'm like that sounds about right holy fuck the daddy gang is so loyal so I love them and I'm so appreciative you just a guess, quick question you're Hi. back. You got rehired. Yeah. I know. <laughs> believe when it? I was here, you got fired. Yeah. Those were fun times. <laughs> um, no, we're doing great, Yumi. I, I um, wanted to ask, because I was performing in Boston this last weekend, and on the same night, not too far from you, and I was thinking, it, would, do you think we should make sure that we don't go to the same market in the right. same night? Because we'll we cannibalize. cannibalize. Right. I sold out. Oh. Um, and I was wondering if that had hurt I, you. It, you know what? It didn't hurt me. I didn't feel that. But what oh. I do know is like we probably have very different audiences. Well, it could be. I think. Yeah, I, I, think I tend to have like the college educated. Mm. <laughs> and what would you call the daddy gang? Let's make sure this know. goes online. They like, yeah. You're gonna get fired again. I love the daddy gang personally. Are they like are they like readers or not really? I don't think they're They they they're definitely like readers, are readers. Right? Are they? Yeah, readers of the mind. Mm. Yeah. Of the male mind. That's it's okay, bad. Francis. I'm glad you sold out though. Congrats. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. I did well. <laughs> All five shows. No big oh. deal. Oh. Yeah. How many shows 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 did you sell out? Um I sold out seven. Um, oh. and how many, how many, um, seats What's are we talking capacity? about? Probably four, five, like 5,000 to like mm. 7,000. Cool. Mm. So cool. you can do the math there, right? How many, how many people? Look, we don't have to, Harvard, right? we don't have to do the math. Francis, I, think... I love you. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. <laughs> nice Look at us. A couple nice college athletes yeah. from Boston. Yeah. Done good. <laughs> just feel like there's like a whole camera crew and Phil's back there. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I don't think people realize that was. Uh, yeah. It's cool to now have watched Barstool and be like, I feel like I'm creating a new version for myself of a network of people I believe in. Guys, yeah. good seeing you guys. See you guys tomorrow. Woo! Holy shit. Right, Thanks for popping on. Can I yeah. ask you for a three minute video? Okay, or you, okay. is my, your Tommy <laughs> time a lot? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if we could pull up the stool scenes clip of like me going in here and just like yelling at Dave. <laughs> Why does, why does Dave have a why does Dave have a bed in his office? <laughs> it's so weird being back, but also feels like the same. I just moved back to so. Oh, you did. I was in Florida for last yeah. two years. And now you're back. Now I'm back full time. You and Davey just going down to Miami, leaving everyone yeah, for that. Avoiding taxes. I back down there. fuck. I get it. Those LA taxes. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. Fran. Hi. It's good to see you. It's so good to see you. Oh, wait. Thank you. It's so crazy. Everybody's getting married. No, I know. I'm like, you, me, and yeah, I'm like, married. we started and we're like little babies and now we're yeah. all fucking engaged. I know. So Alex Cooper is here. And as one last ditch effort to make the Forbes 30 under 30 list, I need her official endorsement. Okay. I think she's going to call me. Sure. <laughs> 
Can I you can I use that cam for smoke show? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're filming we're filming whatever we can. Alright? Alright. <laughs> we're getting all the content we can. Ben. <coughs> Brand's eating up all your time right now. I know. It's this fucking <laughs> I want her to blow you off, no offense, in the worst Tommy, way. Honestly, the play here for her is Wait. absolutely to be like, I'm so sorry, I gotta go. Oh, yeah. If but, she left you, know. you hanging, it would be or you do that to her. unbelievable. Why well, do you have a tag on the shirt still? Comedic effect, wow. Phil. Comedic effect. I almost love the whole thing. Tried out. to for you to have the other show. And I, oh, the whole thing, the whole thing, <laughs> the whole thing. And then when I text you, I'm like, can you take all those videos down? <laughs> I'm just gonna write back in. Wow. Okay, Get in there, Tommy. Tommy. All right. Uh, all right. Where can we set up here? What do you need me to do? Uh, uh, so we're gonna do a little scene where I have, this is like sort of like a sitcom acting, okay. so. Uh, we'll set up maybe over here. Okay. What, you want me to stand over here? No, yeah, I'll sit here. Tommy's suddenly directing a 20 camera shoot. You know what? I saw something on TikTok the other day and it was like you walking by, like begging us as we were sitting in the front lobby, like please give me the makeover. Yeah, yeah. And we Time wouldn't make eye really contact in, with you. We were really, we were, like, to really in character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was in character. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. If you want to sit here, I'll sit here, oh, sort of like. Okay. So you're gonna William interview her, Tommy? Is that what? right? Are you gonna interview her? <laughs> no, I'm gonna ask you. It's like three minutes. Can we like, put a mic on you? Sure. That would be great. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Can one of you go on? The <laughs> I don't know. Do we want Tommy in the dock? Like, fuck. Oh, I'm gonna put you on the dock. We probably won't use this in the dock, but That's fine. no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. So, as long as I have. Tommy, can you yes. just go to Joe and grab a mic? Of course, of course. <laughs> He was the bane of my existence when I worked here. He was like the gnat that like you would walk around the corner and be like, oh fuck, Tommy again. And then I'd be like coming out of the bathroom stall and I'd be like, oh my God, Tommy again? And then I'd be like getting in my Uber to go home and it's like Tommy's the driver. Like literally every, like where, where I turn, it was Tommy. Yeah, no, it's Tommy. <laughs> I wore a lot of khaki pants. A lot of khakis, a lot of just like unfuckable material on his body that like we were like, you could you could get there if you tried a little bit harder. Um, and then he became obsessed being like, well then give me a makeover. And then Dave and Erica and everyone in the office was like, do an episode, put him on an episode of Color Daddy and give a makeover. And respectfully, we were like, over our dead body is Tommy fucking Smokes, the first guest on Call Her Daddy in the history of, no, like it's just not gonna happen. You were the epitome of everything right. we didn't want to be associated with. Yeah, okay, no. cool, cool, no. cool, cool, cool. No. But now it's like- No, 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 now it's like we're, we're homies, we're friends, right. we're, we're I close. guess, I mean, let's just seal it with like, maybe follow me back on Instagram. Oh, yeah. Just, yes. Yeah, just seal it. <laughs> At Tom Smelly, Tom Smell. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'll do that tonight. Yeah, or now, or yeah, even yeah, 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 for or, sure. Yeah, okay, cool, cool. Yeah, Tommy. God bless. So I'll seal it with a pick. It's like, oh, okay. like gang, like gangs coming oh. together. Okay. Okay. Wait. <laughs> I don't have anything we hold okay. up. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. Just, like, Just a picture. <laughs> Great All right, stuff. Tommy. All right, I'm done with you. Thanks. I'm done with you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Okay. I'm gonna, I don't know. I feel like it was huge. That was huge. I couldn't have gotten better. Besides her maybe calling you Bud before, but like, I mean, I'm not trying. <laughs> I love how Erica was like, Did you ever come to this office? I'm like, Yes, Erica. Like, I think. Well, you gotta understand, we were coming from a place of jealousy and. Like, no, it was all crazy. You know, like, yeah, it was crazy. Like, it was. I'm sure your version and our version and then the truth is so, you know what totally. I mean? I totally get it. Yeah, yeah what is my background? Like, background what gets green screened in here? Uh, it's just a gray background. Yeah. I don't know why we do a green screen it's to put a gray the screen. It's thing that we do. In a castle or something? Like, yeah, like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. Whatever you want to be put in, we could do that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. Like, uh, like, I know, I'm like, uh, it's really in space. It's, it's very big. Oh yeah, show yeah. me an example so I know what I'm doing. Um, no, it's it basically is not weird. Oh. You probably just want to give up. Okay. To give up an inch of 
It's like no. <laughs> okay, so it's just like, like just answer. It's like yeah. totally. Okay. You are I got very, this. very capable of this. I got this. Yeah. You know what I'm still butt hurt about? Yeah. Is that we never so got our own awesome. studio. We never got our own studio. We would have to take our cover art and like replace it with someone else's and like no, put our shit out there. We, all up, we ever wanted. They should have come into my studio <laughs> and, and rip, rip me out. Because <laughs> part of my take had it, and I knew they. And everyone would be like, "Well, they've been here for years." I'm you, like, "You part of my take deserved. You should have kicked. They should have yeah, kicked yeah. me out." You should have. <laughs> okay. Okay. Cool. Um, so you're just gonna be like, um, I'm, I'm Alex Cooper. I'm here to answer the internet. You read the question answer okay. it, and I'll banter back and forth with you if you want to, but it's more okay. like you to the camera, okay? Okay, cool. Okay. Here you go. Wait, I say hi, I'm Alex Cooper. I'm, I'm, here, to and and I'm, here, to answer to the, I'm here to answer okay. the internet. Okay. Hi, I'm Alex Cooper, and I'm here to Sorry, answer the internet. Yep. Fuck my life. Goodbye. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hi, I'm Alex Cooper, and I'm here to answer the internet. Would you rather give up the hungover breakfast sandwich or the drunk pizza? 100% the drunk pizza. I am obsessed with the bacon, egg, and cheese with cream cheese on it, everything bagel toasted. Put it up my asshole, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> the highlight of the day might have been Meek Phil going, why do you still have the tag on your shirt? And Tommy goes, for comedic effect! <laughs> 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 That's also, true. it's because it's funny. It's an expensive shirt with the tag still on. He's been doing it for three <laughs> weeks, and Meek feels in his face every second. Why well, do you have a tag on the shirt still? Comedic effect, time? Phil. Ah. Comedic effect. <laughs> Joe, did you see Alice Cooper was in here yesterday? You missed. You know, I don't know what she's coming around here for. I'm the new. I'm the new supreme here. I may not have sixty million dollars, but you know what I have is pizzazz. I've got drive, and I'm caked up. Um, I think she came on a day purposely I wasn't here because she didn't want any, any altercations. We're both big wigs in the, in the industry. We have been for many years. Um, she has a Cosmo cover right now, but who reads Cosmo anymore? I have a Jugs Magazine cover coming out in November. <laughs> so, step your game up, daddy gang. Um, I'm upset she didn't get, to, uh, she probably didn't come because she didn't want, you know, any bad blood between us, but. Yeah, the man mafia and the daddy gang. You think there could be beef there? Yeah. And that poor <laughs> Sophia Ritchie, she's, she's torn between the two of us. What's her last name? Franklin. Sophia Franklin. Yeah, she she doesn't know what to what to make of it all. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm I'm proud of her. I mean, she's given it a little try for a little small business. I'm sure she'll do fine. <laughs> Not my cup of tea, but. So you're wearing the same pants? I've been gaining weight. <laughs> my pants didn't fit. 34, 32 is my normal size. Way too tight. I'm probably 36, 33 getting taller. No body armor season. What do you got going there? Something light, a little body armor wristband, my headband somewhere. You try it on yet? Yeah, sideways though. <laughs> Brim out. I've been down with the brizzle all my life. <laughs> I didn't know he was the mop guy. I just saw him out on the floor. I got scared and then I saw the mop in his hand and breathed a huge sigh of relief. Thank God I thought he was charging the fucking ref. He's been he's been chewing the ref out nonstop. Feeling good? What's up? Kyle was saying you were talking to the ref for a little bit there. Yeah, they got a weak table. For opening possession, they went down to 27 while it was still jostling around. Review the tape. Horrible table. I mean, look at how slow he's <laughs> arguing with people. He's going in slow motion. Yeah, this is no sense of urgency. This crowd's crazy. crazy. What the hell is Get he doing? Get on your knees and what is rub this? it. Guys, I'm here with Rico Bosco. Rico, can you describe your attitude and what your responsibilities are right now? Well, it's taking a bit of a, a knock. No names, but uh, maybe a guy from Florida who got hired recently 
spilled the beer and had a big laugh, so the mop is now compromised, a lot of liquid. Uh, so that gets frustrating. It was doing pretty good till it till this spill. Maybe it's Nikki spills, not Nikki smokes. Thank you, boss. You got another mob? No. One of the top two mob guys in here. Yeah. What are you seeing out there? Seen a lot of sweat. Seen a lot of uh, wet spots on the court. Trying to keep it dry. I don't want nobody to get hurt. Dude, you're a top two mop guy, but are you two or are you one? Oh, come on. Top two and I ain't two. One. I saw you changed out your mop at halftime. Yeah. I noticed Rico did not change out his no. mop at halftime. Why did you decide to change your mop? Very halftime? simple. I'm a professional. This is what I do. Change out the mop at halftime. I keep my mop dry at all times. Rico, he doesn't do those type of things. Back to you guys. Oh, mama mia. <laughs> Dave's talking Italian now. <laughs> oh. This is something that you don't exhibit, but this is like tough to watch. Yeah. This is not fun. Water, water. They don't want water. They got their own water. They got their own water. Honestly, Jake, you may just have to carry this the rest of the way. Yeah, I'm no, like, you're gonna. It's gonna be so Jake's dis, time to shine. So, so disinterested in this right a now. A blowout just means story time for the booth. They can't even get the ball across my court. No, it's, this is one of those things that I wish I wasn't a part of. <laughs> <laughs> ball yeah. foul, Sean Ralph Al Davis. That's a foul. Blocked. How's that going the other way? Dan just Big broke the headset. Slams his headset in disgust. <laughs> I just went to go check and see how the, the traffic was in the last episode of The Bracket, and like one of the top comments is, hearing Tommy Smokes with his nasally sick voice saying dry orgasms made me nearly have an existential crisis. Like, is this a new low point in my life? What am I doing? Gotta agree. It's a rough one. <laughs>